Cleveland, when the Mets launched their fire sale this summer, willing to take penny stock prospects for the raft of veterans they were intent on unloading, there were two teams that jumped to the head of the line for outfielder Jay Bruce, the Yankees and the Cleveland Indians. The Yankees offered two middling prospects for Bruce but refused to pick up more than a small portion of the $3.7 million remaining on his contract. The Indians offered only a fringe prospect, a 30th round draft pick who had been converted from pitcher to infielder, but they offered to pick up the rest of Bruce's contract, and the Mets accepted. If money was truly the difference in the deal, it also became the pivot point in the opening game of the team's American League Division Series on Thursday night. Bruce hit a two run homer had three RBI and scored twice, providing ample support behind the dominant pitching of Trevor Bauer in a 4-2-0 victory over the Yankees. Bauer, held the Yankees without a hit for five and two-thirds innings, and allowed just two hits before relievers Andrew Miller and Cody Allen polished off the shutout as the Yankees managed just one more hit, off Allen. Their best chance to rally came when Miller, whom they traded to Cleveland midway through the 2016 season, walked Chase Headley and Brett Gardner with two outs in the eighth. But Allen entered and got Aaron Judge to chase a 3-2 curveball in the dirt, the fourth time the Yankees slugger struck out. Three hits is not going to do it, third baseman Todd Frazier. No chance you're going to win a game like that. The Yankees again dealt with shortcomings on the mound. After Luis Severino, the race, lasted just a third of an inning in Tuesday's wild card win over Minnesota, Sonny Gray, the number two starter, could muster only three and one-third innings before he was pulled down for a young team that looked so overmatched, Game 2, in which the Yankees will face the Cy Young Award candidate Corey Kluber, is shaping up to be an early test of navigating the emotional highs and lows of a playoff series. That's the beauty of baseball, Judge said. You go out there, undo it again tomorrow. If we go out there and win tomorrow, we forget about today. It's just about learn from today, regroup and get ready for tomorrow. Girardi said the Yankees would possibly try to rattle the idiosyncratic Bauer, whose routine of extreme long tossing and use of weighted balls, gave him something of a reputation as an odd ball. Bauer missed his first scheduled start in last year's playoffs, when he sliced his finger playing with a drone. On Thursday night, he carved up the Yankees. Expertly commanding his fastball at the top of the strike zone, and his big curveball at the bottom, Bauer did not allow a hit until Aaron Hicks lined a double with one out in the sixth. Until then, the only ball that was remotely close to being a hit, was a liner into the left field gap by Headley to lead off the third. But Jason Kipnis, a second baseman moonlighting in center field, laid out and made a diving catch. Dodd Bauer, also kept his composure. After Judge reached after striking out on a wild pitch to start the fourth. Gary Sanchez grounded the next pitch, a curveball, into a 5-4-3 double play. And after the double by Hicks, he retired Gardner on a grounder and struck out Judge, who shook his head at the call. While several Yankees complained about the strike zone called by the umpire Vic Carapaza, Headley gave Bauer his due. It's not like these pitches that guys disagreed with were a foot off the plate, Headley said. That type of strike zone helped him out. He was getting a high strike, which for his stuff is helpful for him, but I didn't think it was an overly lopsided strike zone by any means. When manager Terry Francona popped out of the dugout to relieve Bauer following a two-out single to Starlin Castro in the seventh, all of his Indians teammates in the infield congregated on the mound and offered high fives. As Bauer walked off the mound, the crowd gave a standing ovation, and he tipped his cap as he reached the dugout. I've had quite a few starts this year where I spray curveballs around, and I can't locate it where I need to until maybe the third or fourth inning, Bauer said, explaining that he did extra work in recent days, so that his best pitch it would be sharp from the outset. When that pitch is good for me, I tend to have a pretty good night, he said. Not the way Bauer pitched, the Yankees needed a near perfect effort from Gray, who may have been feeling some deja vu. The last time he pitched in the playoffs, as a rookie in 2013, Justin Verlander, then with the Detroit Tigers, no hit his Oakland Athletics for six and two third innings to win the decisive Game 5 of their American League Division Series, 3 2 0. After Gray departed, Adam Warren, 
Jamie Garcia and Dylan Baton says allowed two hits and only one run over the final four and two-thirds innings. The run was driven in, naturally, by Brew.